We are in Houston at the site of the CNN uh, GOP presidential debate, and I'm joined by former Texas GOP chairman, Steve Munisteri, who uh, left that post for Rand Paul's campaign as a senior advisor. Of course, uh, Senator Paul got out of the race. But first off, what do you make at this stage of the game heading into Super Tuesday? I know you've been real focused on the math. Well, there's a lot of misconceptions, one being that this race can end early mathematically. It's just not possible. Uh, a candidate, Donald Trump or somebody else, would actually have to win 79 percent of all the delegates between now and March 22nd, including March 22nd, to be at 50 percent. Uh, by mid-April, you still have to win 73 percent, and by May, you still have to win 61 percent of the delegates. And Donald Trump has been in the 35 percent range now for two months. So I think it's unlikely that this race will end in March, as many people are predicting. You even crunched the numbers on a little piece of paper you brought with you. I, I, I did. I was, I was, I was doing the, the, the napkin math. But, I mean, it's a lot of this, though, perception. I mean, you know, for instance, Marco Rubio was saying, you know, he'll win Florida, which isn't still for some time. It's, it's, it's right around the corner for some. But, you know, perception-wise, if he doesn't win the state until Florida, uh, does that hurt his momentum? Well, well it does because uh, donors, voters really like to be with a winner and no one wants to waste their vote. So if they think that there's a candidate that's on their way down, uh, even if they don't like the front runner, they may look for an alternative. I think that's what happened to Senator Cruz. He was the primary opposition to Trump after Iowa, but he set the expectations or his team set the expectations so high that when he got three thirds, which should have been something to crow about, to say I'm in the top three every time. That actually was viewed as a disappointment, and I, I think it allowed Marco Rubio to claim momentum when, in, in fact, Marco Rubio sometimes was coming in fifth, like in New Hampshire. I, I tell people Marco Rubio is like that TV commercial where the dad takes the the participation label off and puts first place on there. Marco Rubio is the only candidate I've ever seen that takes the bronze medal or the third place and replaces it with a win, and he gets away with it. Well, but talking about expectations and, and, you know, Cruz's camp talking about expectations, heading into Super Tuesday, they've talked about their ground game, thousands of volunteers. Does he have to do well then, not only in Texas, but in, what, 10 other states? Well, well Senator, in my opinion, Senator Cruz's campaign would, would come to an effective end if he didn't win Texas. They might continue, but I'd call that a zombie campaign where, where you're really dead and you're moving and you're the only person that doesn't know you're dead yet. So he would be a zombie campaign. But, but I'll go out on a limb and say, you know, Senator Cruz, Cruz will win the state of Texas. I think he's going to win between 90 and 110 delegates. I think Donald Trump will get about a third of the delegates. Uh, Marco Rubio will get virtually no delegates unless he can get to the 20 percent threshold to get nine of the at-larges. So for Marco Rubio, it's either going to be close to zero or close to a dozen, and there's not going to be much in between. You headed the party when uh, Senator Cruz was running for his uh, position in the Senate. Uh, the electorate then doesn't seem to have switched much as far as support for him and the support for that he went to Washington to do what he said he's going to do. Well, I, I think Senator Cruz is particularly popular within the Republican Party and the base. It's his home state. He just ran three years ago. Uh, that infrastructure was in place then. It's in, it's in place now. He has a very committed group of followers. But I'll also point out something else. Nobody else has campaigned here. I mean, you'll have Donald Trump with a, one or two rallies, but you don't see any barnstorming around the state this week with Donald Trump or Marco Rubio. They're just flying in for the debate. So there is no substantial infrastructure. There is no substantial money. So Cruz, as far as I'm concerned, he wins by default. Chairman Munisteri, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Reporting from Houston, I'm Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune.